Hello there and welcome back to another session of Google Classroom Basics. For today's session, we're going to learn how to create a new Google Classroom and how to customize that classroom. So to get started, there are two ways that you can access your Google Classroom. Of course, you have to be logged into your G Suite for Education account and you can click on the app launcher here and, and click on Classroom or you can type in the Omnibar classroom.google.com Now once that loads, you will click on the plus sign in the upper right hand corner and select create class. The only required space is to give that class a name, so I'll call this one tutorial. Of course, you can give it a section title, the subject, and room number, but these are not compulsory. Then you click Create. Now, once your classroom is created, you can go ahead and customize the themes. So, the layout, what it's going to look like. So. First, if you don't like the standard layout that would um, theme or background that was given, you can click on select theme. And based on the subject area that you teach, you can select any of the pre-recorded pre ones. Okay, so let's say this was uh, history and hi English. I can probably choose this one. Once your background has been created, we're going to go ahead and set up some basics. So you click on the gear icon and you scroll down to general. I'll talk about class code in a minute. Now, class code is what you will use to invite students to your, to your class. We're going to go through that in another tutorial. For the stream, by default, it's set to allow students to post and comment. Now, based on the structure of your classroom, you can choose if you want students to be only able to copy, comment or if you want to be the only person that that comments and posts. Think of this as the window to your classroom. So if you want to make quick announcements or you want students to be able to interact with each other, um, you can choose between these two. But I would necessarily recommend only teachers to post and comment because this means it's kind of like teacher dominated. Next is classwork on the stream. Now, one of the things we need to remember, when you post any assignments or announcements or anything like that, it gets put on the stream if it's less like this. And you also receive emails, email notifications. So that can become a little bit um, cumbersome if each time somebody you post an assignment and or schedule an assignment. So to allow it to be nice and clean where it's only students um, having their discourse you and your students i would recommend to hide notifications and you want to you can decide if you want to show the deleted items or not but again if you deleted it it means that you don't want it on the stream so i would leave it turned off then Based on the type of school that you're working at, if it's an elementary school or middle and high, the grading system will be different. Um, so you can choose if you want your grades to be no grades, total grades or grade weighted by categories. Um, if it's an elementary school where grades are not weighted, then you may want to select total points. However, if it's a school where you have weighted grades, 
you can actually add your grades your weights here so let's say for example um your category one is let's say performance task this would correspond with what is expected of you in your classroom and whatever that percentage is and i'm just going to throw out a number here i'll say this is 40 percent and let's say another category is um, formative assessment. And that is probably 20%. Again, you will choose based on what um, is required in your school. And if it is a summative, And then you will click save and that's it for setting up for the initial creating and setting up of your classroom thank you